what's up you guys i think with the chanting we are to movie review it chapter two it chapter two was directed by the same director who directed the first movie 27 years later the losers club reunited back together um after 27 years since they defeated pennywise the dancing clown since they were little kids since they were like recently since they were kids and since now they're an adult now, they discovered that Pennywise is still alive. And now they have to team up back together to defeat Pennywise the Dancing Clown by killing him properly this time. And I've I've been a huge fan of Stephen King's movies like Christine, Pen, um, Pet Cemetery, and um, um, maybe The Shining. Actually, I don't know. If, I don't know if The Shining is either a Stephen King movie, but I actually liked it. It was really good. If they did a reboot of The Shining, that would probably be really good. But if you have seen much, you know, I did a trailer reaction on It Chapter Two. If you have not seen it, just go ahead and watch it. Cause if you're scared of this, if you're scared of it, don't watch it. If you don't want to, I'm just saying, you know, some 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 um people don't like clowns. They don't like scary movies. Well, I like scary movies though. I just don't like the jump scares. But this movie was. A okay. This was an okay movie. This movie wasn't really good as the first movie. This movie kind of disappointed me a little bit. It's just I just felt really bad for this film because this movie wasn't really that scary. There were some scary scenes that didn't really look scary for me. The jump scare is just too much for me. I didn't feel comfortable for the jump scares. I don't like jump scares because jump scares just just makes my makes my just makes me cover my ears because you know I can't deal with the loud noises all of a sudden, but. I just watched this movie on the fire stick anyway and just really enjoyed the movie. It's just that this movie wasn't really good. It's the first movie. So, Bill Skarsgård was awesome in this movie. Bill Skarsgård was really good in the was really good in this movie. Like in the first movie, you know, same costume, same design. I mean, well, same design actually of his um outfit. Yeah, same costume design, same hairstyle, same paint details. He was really good in this movie. I think he was creepy, like well, like not like Tim Curry. The Tim Curry it, I didn't really like that Tim Curry it. I didn't really like the Bill Skarsgård it because the Bill Skarsgård it was actually the best. What Tim Curry's it just didn't really do too well for me. I didn't really enjoy that one. Um, James Mac. So we had James McAvoy and some other um people who was who played these characters since they were like, like kids from way back in twenty seven years. And now, it's great. It's great for the. It's great. It's great that the Losers Club reunited back together. I think they wanted to do like like ever since the first movie. Like I'm. The, I mean, I'm talking about like the Tim Curry version wasn't that good. Ever since I watched the Tim Curry version, I didn't really enjoy the Tim Curry version. I just I just didn't really like that one because they have like the kids and the like the first the kids with the first act, the second act since they were adults. This didn't didn't really work out for me. Now they have to separate it like for it. For the for the first movie it with Bill Skarsgård in it two years ago, they did it as kids. As in this movie, the Losers Club are an adult, and now now they have then now they want to defeat Pennywise Dancing Clown because <coughs> I think Pennywise just follows them everywhere they go, like everywhere it just came out of nowhere. But this movie concentrates on them trying to find a way to defeat Pennywise, you know. There's some there's some scenes that just get a little too too little too little boring. It's just that it's just some scenes in this movie. There's some scenes in this movie that really just looked a little boring. You just didn't feel like watching it. You're just like, oh man, this this is really terrible. Like there, like I don't really get why this movie wasn't really that scary. I just didn't feel comfortable. Why? I don't feel comfortable with movies that's not even scary enough. You know, I don't I didn't I didn't really care about the jump scares because the jump scares makes my makes my makes me cover my ears a lot. Because you know, sometimes I can't deal with the loud noises all of a sudden because I don't really like I don't like loud noises in scary movies, and neither the jump scares. Like like Stephen King was like I really like Stephen King's movies, you know, like Christine. I really like the movie like like I really like Stephen King's movies, like Christine, Pet Cemetery, and maybe probably the other movie, like the like like the uh, The Shining. Really great movies, including Cujo. I didn't, I wasn't really into Cujo all that well. I wasn't I I didn't really get along with Cujo. That wasn't really a good movie for me because I wasn't really in the dog movie. I'm not really in the dog movies all that well. But this is a but this movie the the um they're like the first act is okay. 
the second act is just like too much for me like too much but James McAvoy was really good in this movie James McAvoy in the Loser Club was really good in this movie I'm glad they got a chance to reunite it back together after 27 years like I said it's been a long long time and now Pennywise just just coming back to be like it's been a long time it's been 27 years now and you'll be like and the Loser Club like oh man the clown is alive and now they have to defeat him but this is but for me, when I seen the trailers for this movie, I was like, oh, man, I probably, I probably do want to see this movie. Because I did, like, like I said, I did a trailer reaction on this. If you have not watched it, watch the trailer reaction. Because I know some people can be really scared of clowns, like Pennywise. Because I remember my mother was so scared of Pennywise. I'm talking about, like, the Tim Curry Pennywise. I remember she used to be so scared of Pennywise, the dancing clown that was played by Tim Curry. Like, you know... The character, that the that scary person is not even real. It's just your imagination. It's just not real. It's all fake. It's all in your head. Just, it's, it, it's not that big of a deal. And I, don't, I know some kids can be scared of clowns, and some kids can't. Some kids are not scared of clowns. I mean, I don't like clowns, but I actually like Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Pennywise is one of my favorite scariest characters, played by Bill Skarsgård, because I will give Bill Skarsgård credit for being, for really being really good in this movie. Bill Hader was really good in this movie playing Finn's um Wolfhard's um older character was really good in this movie. But, like Finn, you know you know you know what I'm talking about like Finn Wolfhard who played in the Stranger Things um TV TV actually no Netflix series. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Stranger Things Netflix series, which everybody loves Stranger Things. Some people don't like Stranger Things. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, but this movie was okay, like I said. I just didn't really enjoy this movie. Actually, I enjoyed the movie. It's just that the mo some of the scenes were not even scary. I just don't know why. This movie wasn't really good as the first movie. But this movie could have done better, like, be good as the first movie. But that's that's all. But I'm just saying, like, this movie could have been, like, a greater um, phenomenon to be a little bit scary. Like, put some great scary scenes in the movie. The director did a wonderful job with this movie, but just... Do a really good job with the um um scary moments. Like put some little like put a lot of scary moments in this movie instead of making this movie look a little little bit of a joke. But this movie wasn't that this movie wasn't a joke. It's just that this it wasn't really scary. Yeah. Now now everybody's just like, wait a minute, this movie's not really good as the first movie. Now this reminds me of the first like this movie reminds me of the Tim Tim Curry's it. Like, kind of true, but not really close. But that's all I got to say about this review. And like, a, and the, like the, um, the Losers Club as the adults were really good in this movie. They're really good as well. Well, that's all I got to say about this review. I'm glad I, got, I'm glad I watched this movie. I'm glad I saw this movie on the fire stick. This was a really good movie. And this movie was like 2 hours and 49 minutes. I didn't care. I watched it, but it was long. It was a long movie. Why make this movie so long? This movie could have been a little bit shorter. You know, like the like the first movie. The first, the first movie was like two hours and 30-something minutes. Probably like 35 minutes. And this movie is like two hours, and, two hours and 49. I don't know why the director made this movie two hours and 49 minutes long. Like, that is a long. That is very long. Like, I don't really get it. Why? So, that's it. It's alright, because I'm cool with a two-hour movie anyway. Because, you know, I love two-hour movies. I love one-hour movies. It doesn't matter. It's like saying King Kong is three hours long. It's like saying the movie Ali is, like, probably, like, three hours long. Wow. Long movies. Just don't get it. So, that's all I got to say about this, um... That's all I gotta say about this movie review. So that's all I gotta say to this video. So be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification button. Follow me on Instagram and comment down below. And I'll see you on my next video. And thanks for watching.